so here we go. We got another video here. Uh, I want to draw a really simple contrast between ASCII doc and Markdown. I'm actually going to be doing a lot of little teeny tiny videos about little things about ASCII doc that I like better than Markdown because people want to know. And I'm going to keep them in short form so people can just digest them. But here is a real obvious one. Um, on Markdown, both are supported on GitHub, of course. Uh, they have been since something like 2013. Um, but when you do front, when you do front matter here, uh, so here's the front matter, right? This is traditional YAML front matter. You got your YAML thing here. There's different delimiters you can use, but this is the basic way to do it. And this here is YAML data fields, key value pairs. Um, and what the key value pairs are not really defined by front matter. They can be whatever. And then depending on the tool you're using, they'll be interpreted properly, right? So that's front matter. <laughs> um, front matter is actually something that came from uh, front matter is something that came from Jekyll and was invented by Tom I'm pretty sure uh, same guy who invented Tommel uh, who was not a fan of front matter and a million other things um, I made the Tommel logo by the way <laughs> yeah, T-O-M-L I made the logo go look it up so anyway this is front matter and um the annoyance with GitHub is that they chose to put a little table here to show you the front matter. They probably thought they were doing the right thing. Well, let me show you a contrast to ASCII doc. This is ASCII doc, right? So this is this is ASCII doc, same exact document, um, but with um, you know ASCII doc headers. Now, author is so common you don't even need to put anything on there, right? Uh, just you know ASCII doc headers and 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 um, that's the word they don't call they don't have a thing called front matters they're called headers and so i'm trying to call them right thing if you want any uh random key value pairs that are up here and you put them you know you put the quotes around i mean the col colons around it like that you can have as many of those as you want but they because it's a one-to-one -one compatibility with docbook which is what every major publishing tool uses for representing documents um ascii doc assumes that the first line is going to be the author if it's on if it doesn't have anything else there and it goes until the first blank line, and you can have a multi-line description, whatever, as long as it doesn't have any blank lines. Um, but one of the things that's really, really great about ASCII doc is it's it solved the problem of what happens if my title and header are the same thing. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's worth mentioning right now because I have fought with this my whole life um, of doing documentation. So you would have a field here that says title, right? So Pandoc has this. Uh, and there's like a, a field filled here with, with title and he found my, my credit. Yeah. And, um, and so right here they have, you know, but if you have a title in your front matter and then you also have the same title here, you have like two text strings. You have to keep updated all the time. It's really annoying. Right. You don't, it's, I mean, it's a minor annoyance. I can live with it. Right. But, but, but why? And, and one of the great things about using ASCII doc is you just have, they put they, there's no such thing as front matter in ASCII doc. Um, ASCII doc has integrated um, the metadata, if you will, into the header. So the first header with the equal sign um, is the same thing, right? So this is equivalent to the title, and so you just have the one thing to maintain if you're going to change it or whatever. You have like the built-in other stuff, and then you have you know however many free free form attributes you want after that. And this is how you do it. Um, another thing I like about ASCII doc, it's kind of visible here is the way to do links. Um, so in ASCII doc, they, they, you put the link first, they get that right. Yeah. And then you, after that, you put the, the, um, the text that you want, the alternative text. So it's more likely that you're going to, you're going to put a link into something. So you're going to paste the link and you're going to say, actually, I don't want that link to display which you probably do in most cases. And so you add on the, the, um, the, the bracketed stuff at the end. Um, and I actually really like that. I actually really like that a lot. Uh, so, I mean, that as opposed to, as opposed to a uh, good old markdown where you have to know, is this right? I need to refresh this. This is wrong. Yeah, there we go. Um, wait. Something's not right. I must not have pushed it. Did I not push it? Oh, it's just from PR. 
Yips, whoopsie daisy. Give me a second. Yeah, I was showing you the wrong thing. I'm I'm doing a PR, so I have to go to the right one. I actually I made a bug and I fixed it. Here we go. Yeah, see. All right, so here we go. So we have you have to do the text, right? And then you do the link after that. Um I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but it kind of is, right? So this is how you would do ASCII doc and this I, I actually think this way usually like if something that's gonna have a link, I usually think of the link first and then I then I think of the text I want there after the fact. Most of the time, because a lot of times when I have a link, I don't even put the text. Why? Because I want the link to show up in the printed form of the document. And unless you have a renderer uh, of Markdown, it'll just put click here, right? And and the click here is horrible because because there's, they don't know the URL. So if you're ever rendering that kind of thing, you better make sure that you have your URLs expanded somehow into the text version of the print. That stuff is kind of not present in ASCII doc. It's all ASCII doc takes care of all that by default because it's built in. So, um, yet another example of why ASCII doc is better for people who are writing content, but are writing content that's going to end up making its way into a book. Once again, uh, the primary advantage of ASCII doc is ASCII doc is a one for one compatible version of doc book, which is the most universal, um, uh, standard for document creation and generation, whether it be a novel, uh, anything that's written as a document, anything that's written in Word or any other thing uh, is ultimately converted to DocBook XML. And ASCII doc is a one for one conversion for better or worse. And but it has much cleaner headers. Give it a try. Hopefully you'll like that.